Research and development is a process of developing new knowledge. That new knowledge becomes very important for understanding the change in trends and to get adapted with respect to the changing needs. So R&D becomes very important in civil services coaching. See, UPSC is considered to be one of the toughest exam in the world. So why it is toughest? Because UPSC keeps changing the trends of the civil services exams. So we need to do the adequate research to understand their change in trends, to understand the UPSC focus area so that accordingly we can train the students appropriately with respect to the demand of the exams. So by understanding the UPSC focus areas, UPSCs are changing trends in civil services exams, we prepare content, curated content as well as we come up with test programs at different levels of preparation. So which is helping the students to adapt themselves to change their orientation towards the needs of the exams. So when it comes to content, we broadly have three content areas. One is current affairs, another one is general studies, another one is optional subject. See, the content for the optional subject is uh, developed by the respective subject matter expert. We in R&D will be developing current affairs as well as general studies. So for current affairs, we release a monthly compilation called as Officer's Pulse. And for general studies, we come up with a material called as Harvest. Current affairs is a very important integral part of civil services preparation in your prelims, in your mains as well as your interview. This current affairs content can be sourced from various areas like newspapers, um, uh, magazines, uh, All India Radio, Press Information Bureau, Sansad channels, right? So a fresher, we find it very difficult uh, to take the content from various sources. If, it, if you take newspaper alone, we have a lot of important uh, national dailies like Hindu, Indian Express, Business Standard. So it is difficult for a fresher particularly to go focus on different national dailies, focus on All India Radio, focus on PIB, focus on various magazines like Kurukshetra Yojana and develop their content for the exam becomes very challenging. And also for them to understand the trend and understand the focus area and then find out the exact relevant content becomes even more difficult. So we here in the offices R&D, so we have a team of veterans, so who on a daily basis will be focusing on collecting the current affairs content from various source materials. And that content will be edited, will be value added. We will ensure that the language is simple so that everyone can understand. And I personally take care of this officers Pulse magazine. So which will be released on a monthly basis. We release two compilations. One is called as Officers uh, Pulse Digest, which by and large focuses on prelims. However, it will be useful for mains as well. And another compilation called as Officers Pulse In-Depth, which focuses on news analysis. So the next content is about the general studies. See, today we have a lot of content available in the market. For each and every subject, we have a lot of surplus content. So it's very important to find out the relevant content for the exam by keeping the UPSC exam trends in mind. So we understand the trend. We also understand the focus area of UPSC by analyzing the previous 40 years question papers. So the past 40 plus years prelims as well as main since 1979, we have analyzed the question papers and we have understood the trend and we have also understood the focus area of UPSC. So we found the UPSC focus area. We have filtered out the topics. We have done our research on the individual topics. We have developed the content. We have value added and that content we have made it us harvest materials. For prelims, we have prelims harvest. So it will be like this. For each and every topic, 
for agriculture we have a separate prelims harvest book for science and technology we have a separate prelims harvest book so here for medieval history we have a separate prelims harvest book so like this we come up with curated content by keeping the upsc focus area and tend into consideration and then we develop these materials for both prelims as well as mains and that will be given to the students so through this trend analysis and by developing this content both current affairs as well as the general studies so we are able to help the students to understand the needs and demands and with this we are able to somehow guess the upsc focus areas in the upcoming exams see predicting upsc it's near to impossible that's what people say but yes we cannot predict 100% but we can guess by understanding the psychology of upsc by understanding the philosophy of the exam so we can guess to some extent we can guess for both prelims as well as mains for example last year in the 2023 prelims from our officers pulse last one year officers pulse material almost 20 questions 20 topics were reflected from pulse in the civil services exams so it's not about prediction but by understanding the psychology and philosophy of the exam we can to some extent guess we can go for a guess a closer to prediction is possible with the help of this content and the next important training module is conducting tests at different intervals learning is not just reading the books and studying that it is also about applying what you have learned in the tests that are conducted so only when both components are there a candidate stands a good chance for clearing this upsc examination in that very same vein we here at officers ais academy conduct the test series in two sets and i'm talking about the prelims test series here and the first set of tests are what we call as warm up tests or foundation tests so here is where we will test the basic knowledge on the various subjects that are there for upsc among the candidates by asking upsc pattern questions from the books through which they are supposed to gain the knowledge and this warm up test is what all the aspirants will be getting initially when they start their prelims and mains program with us but once they are sufficiently trained and once they have done a lot of studies once they have attended a lot of classes we will of course induct them into the full length prelims test series and these test series contain questions which are going to be reflective of upsc standards and the way how we ensure that the questions are of good standards and that the students get the maximum benefit out of it is by actually constructing them in the right manner let me explain we look at all the previous years upsc questions and identify all the high value topics that upsc has been repeatedly asking we keep that list on the one hand while on the other hand we also try to elucidate all those topics which have not been asked by upsc greatly over the past years and we keep that list also on the other hand we try to ensure that we question the students from both these lists of topic in the test series and therefore we ensure that the students are prepared holistically for this examination especially of course the prelims part which i'm talking about our way of conducting the test series has been proven effective because we are very glad to notice that around 38 different reflections from our own test series here at officers ais academy has been in some way be linked to the upsc questions that have come in 2023 prelims now consider that you are a upsc aspirant who has actually taken a test with us and you want to evaluate your own performance you want to figure out how well you have done and what your own state of mind is 
the usual way in which you figure that out is by simply looking at your own marks how much marks you score out of the total number of marks based on which you make a self-assessment now what if we told you that there are better ways to actually figure out what your status of preparation is yes we have developed a way in which we can read into the minds of the aspirants who are taking our test series to give them insights and perspectives about their own state of preparation so what we have done is we have redesigned the OMR sheet in which the students shared the answers in such a way that we are able to capture the mindset of the students while giving the answers so imagine this you have given an answer and you are very sure about it or you are just guessing the answer or you are simply taking a chance taking a risk to give that answer or maybe you are not even choosing to attend that question so there are many mindsets from which you may operate while answering a question now what if we are able to actually capture that mindset for each and every question and then give you a cumulative performance of your own efforts in that test mapped to that mindset how many questions were you very sure of how many questions were you guessing how many questions were you simply taking a risk how many questions did you not even attend so if you know that pattern you will be able to actually figure out what is the confidence level that you have whether you have to revise more or maybe you should just study and practice learning the concepts more and more or maybe even that you have to manage your time properly because of the lack of management of time you are not even able to attend some of the questions so in many ways insights are given to the students simply by capturing their mindset while giving the test series and we have made detailed analytics of each and every student's performance in that way for all our tests now as a faculty if i am actually meeting with students and students tell me that their scores are so and so and their test analytics that we have made that show the very sure shot answers guessed answers blind risk and uh, risky answers and those answers which they have not even attempted those questions which have not even which uh, they have not even attended so if we know the split up of all of that if we know their marks i as a faculty will be able to guide the students with precision we will be able to know what kind of a help the student needs so if a student is not able to score well in certain subjects we will know that and by looking at the pattern of the marks the distribution of their own mindsets for each and every test we can figure out whether they have to go on to study more they maybe they have to go on to revise more or maybe even they have to go on and just practice answering more questions and build confidence so in so many ways we can actually help the students as faculties once we know the marks and the split up of their own mindsets while taking the test so this is what we essentially do here at offices is academy when we have our own mentoring program so faculties will have group mentoring sessions where we talk to students in general about how to study for the next test what kind of a preparation they are supposed to do and also we sit with them individually in small small groups and we will be able to guide them in person while we are able to listen to what queries they have and this many students have reflected has helped them greatly for actually picking up their pace in the studies and to once again do their best in their own self preparation students essentially attend uh, lecture series they go on to study a lot of books we have made a lot of books i think uh, guna spoke in great detail about the harvest books the officers pulse that we make lots of materials are there we also conduct a lot of tests i myself spoke about the tests also but in spite of all of this it is of course a very open secret that it is from the students that majority of the effort has to come for cracking this exam and essentially when students start with their upsc preparation they are just bombarded with a lot of sources and they may not know how to channelize their efforts they may not even know how to study which subject 
in which date they may not know how many multiple choice questions mcqs mcqs to solve every day they may not even know how many answers they have to write every day they don't know how much of time they have to put in for revision every day they have no idea about how to put in the effort for different needs of this preparation and to help with that we have come with something called as officers polaris which is a very small document and this document officers polaris will be able to guide the students in registering their own efforts on a daily basis to monitor consistency for themselves they can self monitor and when they keep on filling in the details of how many hours of effort they have put for general studies for current affairs for their mcq practice for answer writing practice for also the revision part of their own preparation how many hours of effort have they put on a daily basis we try to monitor that and we help the students monitor that for themselves see what you do not measure you cannot improve only when you measure things you can actually expect something more than what you have done so far so yeah we are trying to help the students in measuring their own efforts through this one document but the polaris document is not just about recording the daily effort it is also about recording their own self practice about multiple choice questions how many multiple choice questions are they practicing every day how many of that is right how many of that is wrong and in which subject they have solved a lot of questions in which subject they have not what is the cumulative number of questions they have answered in a month for their own practice so in that way we try to make this document as versatile as possible so that all aspects of the upsc preparation is recorded here and it provides us with insights students who have used polaris have been very appreciative and have been the biggest benefactor of this one document called as officers polaris an uncomfortable truth about this exam is that majority of the students who appear for the prelims examination for the very first time end up not passing the prelims examination and uh, we of course look at those students not as failures but as people who have gained wisdom because of the attempt that they have given for the prelims examination we believe that they should be given another chance so what we have designed is we have designed a program that is called as steeple chase this program is essentially catering to all those students who have appeared for at least one prelims but unfortunately has not been able to crack the exam and to those students this steeple chase program will be a boon and that's because this program is designed in such a way that the students will be taking tests every week in fact i would say two tests every week right after the prelims results come we will be conducting one prelims test and one mains test every week and in this process we will end up covering the entire upsc syllabus over many months until the students finally appear for the prelims examination for the next year now the difference between the students who are appearing for the prelims for the first time and the students who are appearing for the steeple chase program is that number 1 the students who are in the steeple chase are people who have already faced prelims and have some experience with upsc and number 2 the students who are appearing for the steeple chase program will be taking approximately 70 to 75 prelims plus mains tests combined totally 70 to 75 tests they'll be taking over a span of many many months so what we are trying to tell you is we will take care of your entire preparation from the point of lecture series study materials test series guidance and the entire support system until you crack your examination here at offices ais academy thank you for watching the video for any more inquiries please look at the link given in the description below